In this video, I will show you how to use Suno.com to create your own AI-generated songs. Let's get started. So here I am on Suno.com, and I've signed into my account using the Google sign-on. If you want to try this, when you get to Suno.com, just look for a sign-up button here in this bar. Once you've signed in, this is how you can make your own AI-generated songs. Just go here to create, and then here in this text box is where you need to describe the song that you want to be generated. Here's an example of a prompt that I put in, and here we have the results. Bunnies hop in the field, kittens chase their dream. Just beautiful. And every time you put in a song prompt, you're going to get two different results, and you can play both to figure out which one you like best. Once you've typed in your song description, just click Create, and the two versions of the song that you've asked for will be created. You'll be able to find the lyrics here on the side, and you can play the songs just by clicking on the Play button. So let's try this out together. I'm going to create a couple of songs while you watch this video. So here on this panel at the left of the Suno.com webpage, I'm just going to go to Create and describe my song. I want this to be a Liverpool big band song about beautiful people who want to learn how to use Excel by watching videos on YouTube. And I've put in some specifics. I want to make sure to use the phrase select to effect. And also I want it to use column, row, and cell. Now let's see how this goes. Sometimes you give the AI instructions and it doesn't quite follow those instructions perfectly. But let's give this a try. I'll click create and it's AI is creating two custom songs based on the prompt that I created here at the left. I can see the title already, Beautiful People of Liverpool. That sounds pretty good. And my two songs are done. I'll click play. Select to effect and make it count. Learn about cells and rows and mount. Columns so tall, stretching far and wide. Beautiful people learning with pride. Okay, that turned out beautifully. Notice that it did what I asked. It used the phrase select to effect. It used the word cells, rows, columns. This is beautiful. And for those of you that watch my channel for the Excel videos, you understand why I put select to effect in there and those other references. Now, I did get a second option, so I could click play to hear the difference. Columns and rows and cells to inspect. Finding out how to select to effect from data and grids to charts that just shine. They watch YouTube videos all the time. Now, to create another song, all I have to do is go right back to the Create area. I don't even have to leave this page that I'm on, and I'm going to click and drag to delete the text that's already in there, and I will type in my next prompt. You can see what it is. This time, I'm specifically using the name of my YouTube channel and some of the topics that I teach on my YouTube channel. I'm going to click Create, and let's look at the results. It's titled my songs, Tech Teachers Groove. I like it. I'll click Play. And it's a bit too sleepy for me. I'm going to move on to the next one. Teachers all I guide away. Tend to tell most every day. Excel. Pretty cool. Now, as you're creating your music on Suno.com, I think you'll find that it can be hard to know how to describe your music. You know, you could just say a rock song, a pop song. Those are very generic terms. So if you want to get ideas for the types of music you can create, you can go here to this library. Now, in just a minute, I'm going to show you how to actually download these songs to your computer so that you can play them on your smartphone. You could burn them to CD if you want. You can post them on your web page. There's all sorts of things you can do. You can even turn them into videos. We're going to look at that in just a minute. But for now, I want to go here to the Explore button. And notice what it does. It gives you this huge list or library of different genres that you can pick from. And I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse to go up or down. And so if I need some ideas of the type of music to create, this is a beautiful way to give me some ideas to think about. So here's one, Dark Electro Pop. Now, you could also just click this button here to get a randomly chosen genre of music. Why like moon Okay, so that can really help you get some ideas. I just clicked create, and this one I'm trying to be a little silly. Let's see if it works. So, Dark Electro song about jelly beans, spaghetti, and superheroes. Use the words bananas and boopity in the song lyrics. Let's try this out. Okay, so this should be kind of a dark, moody song, but with some weird lyrics. And Suno's AI has named my song Super Jelly Party. Sounds great. And I can click on that to see the lyrics that it's composed for this song. Okay, let's listen to the results. Okay, very nice. So it did use bananas, it used boopity. All right, let's try the second version. We'll just get the beginning of this. All 
All right, so I'm very happy with these results. I promised you I would tell you how to download these songs and how to turn them into videos. Let's look at that now. And then I'll show you how to switch to a newer, more custom version of Suno. And we'll end by talking about credits. So here at the center of this create page, you can see the history of the songs I've created with this account of Suno.com that I have. So this is the history of all the songs. If there's a song that I really like the results to, I can click on the three dots here at the right and I can choose download either audio or video. So let's try it both ways. I just downloaded the audio of Super Jelly Party and I'm going to go to the other Super Jelly Party, click the three dots. This time I'll download the video version of it. Those have both downloaded to my computer. I can just click to open, let's say, the mp3 audio version. So that is a song that's on my computer. It's a real song, an mp3 song. I can do with that what I want. I don't have the rights to sell the song though. If you want that, you would need to upgrade. Let's check out the video. Now the video that's created, it still has the music, but it's also got the lyrics. And look what happens to the lyrics. Jelly beans, so bright, so sweet. Colors pop beneath our feet. So pretty cool, right? The lyrics actually scroll as they are sung. So pretty cool option there. Okay, next I want to show you that there is a custom mode. If you switch this on, it gives you these additional options. So for example, you can tell it to extend your song with additional lyrics and things like that. And there's some other great options to explore. If you want to do that, you need to accept these conditions. I'm not going to break the copyright of a musician or band. I click accept. I've described my song. I can put in a title in this custom mode. I can put in the style of music. So you can see I actually did this incorrectly up here at the top. I'm going to get rid of part of that prompt and I'll just click generate lyrics and then click create. Now I am out of credits, so it's not going to let me create, but hopefully you can see some of the differences between custom mode and the basic mode. Speaking of credits, I'm going to click here on zero credits and it's going to show you the three kinds of plans that you can get with Suno.com. I use just the basic plan that gives me 50 credits per day. Now that's 10 songs. So I can create 10 songs per day with the free account. There's non-commercial terms and some other features here. For $8 a month, you get more options and $24 a month, you get even more. I'm going to click here on library to go back to the list of songs that I've created. I never would have thought I could say this, but I am now a music producer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see more information about those options in the description below the video.